Margaret, I'm going to begin this fast class with two eccentric, even puzzling moves. First, I'm going to teach a case study in reverse. Second, I'm going to help you learn a strong principle from a weak example. So, let's start with the first move. The result of the case study, 88%. The treatment, this is the winning version. Open source made simple, a jump box is easy to install, update, and maintain. Runs anywhere. The control. Open source web applications made simple, and there's no subheadline. Now this leads me to the second eccentric move, to learn a strong principle from a weak example, but how? Well, despite the fact that both headlines violate the principles I've been teaching, and perhaps even because of this point, we will learn today. Even a weak headline with the added power of a smart subheadline can work, and that's the point. Besides, on the internet, most website messages are so poorly crafted that a little better messaging can produce a lot better results. Think of it this way. Best is better than better, but better is still better than bad. <laughs> Think about that, and while you do, let me emphasize something to reflect on. One of the best ways to achieve micro yes too from the prospect. Yes, I will engage is to encapsulate the essence of the offer at the top four inches of the page. There should be three primary elements dedicated to achieving this. The subheadline, the opening paragraph, and the essential bullet points. And that brings us to the challenge today. We're focused on the first element, how we can develop a subheadline that amplifies the power opening. But how do we do it? How do we achieve micro yes too? Yes, I will engage. Well, this is a fast class, 40 minutes of content in about 10 minutes. We're teaching how to achieve micro yes two from the landing page blueprint. And in the next few minutes, we're going to learn three penetrating questions. These questions will guide our thinking as we craft high impact subheadlines. Here's a warning. I'm going to teach a lot, very fast, very dense, without examples, three points, three questions, but then, I'm going to break them all down, show you the application with a live website as an example. All right, so here's the first question. How can I best encapsulate the power of my offer? How can I get it right in the first four inches? That's the question you should be asking yourself as you think about the top of your page, as you think about the website psychology. You are giving the prospect what screenwriters call story clicked. That's a sort of breakthrough understanding. In effect, you're giving them just enough content at the top of the page to attract their engagement with the rest of the page. You ask that question to get your thinking straight as you begin to plan these elements of subheadline, opening paragraph, and essential bullet points. But then you ask a second question, too. Which one of these aims will best help achieve micro yes too? Which one will strengthen the impact of my headline? There are four ways to target the psychology when you craft your subheadline. You may want to improve clarity. You may want to intensify credibility. You may want to amplify appeal. Or you may want to emphasize exclusivity. Now, you've got to figure out which one of those four is best. Which one of those four will help me the most? Which leads me to the third question. And after this, I'll show you the examples. What is the best way to achieve this aim? Now, I'm gonna answer that with four tight statements. Pay close attention, stay with me, because in the rest of this, I will show you how to apply them. Here they are. One, if your aim is to improve clarity, then focus on complementary noun modifier combinations. If your aim is to intensify credibility, then focus on high authority evidentials. If your aim is to amplify appeal, then focus on additional elements of value. If your aim is to emphasize exclusivity, then focus on adding distinctive signal terms. Those are words like only or superlatives, words ending in EST like fastest, largest, oldest, etc. Now, do not worry if you're still unclear. I've hit you with a lot fast but we're going to learn how it looks in practical application right now. Let me introduce you to 10 by 3. They are a powerful not-for-profit that has rescued 8,000 families from poverty. Their CEO and founder is a personal friend. I trust her. 
They're doing an amazing work around the world. Let's help them and let's learn as we help them. So let's start with the headline. Uh, the current headline says, get to know us better. But you've already thought about this with me because we asked you in session 14 to try and develop a better version. And I got solid, solid examples. But let's combine our thinking and suggest the best headline for the purposes of an experiment. Here it is. Get a beautiful handcrafted gift and help rescue a family from poverty. Now, that headline is just a beginning. Its power cannot be determined in isolation. If we combine it with the right subheadline, we can amplify its power. So let's review those four aims again. Remember, clarity, credibility, appeal, or exclusivity. Let's aim for clarity. We're going to craft four of these, and then I'm going to have you vote for the one that you think will perform best. So pay close attention. If we're going to aim at clarity, we need noun modifier combinations. So we look at our text bank, we see all of these salient points, we select one, and we focus it into the words of a headline. So here we go. With your help, we empower artisan entrepreneurs to sell their products all over the world. So the combination of the new headline and this subheadline should help people understand better. But what if that's not the best way to use this half inch of space? What if your goal is credibility? It might be right, especially when you're thinking about a not-for-profit and the fact that people have to trust you with their contribution. If we want to add credibility, we go back to the text bank and we see awards and we see successes and we see testimonials. We can pick from any combination of these to use in this subheadline. The other pieces we can layer in later. So let's do that together and let's craft a credibility subheadline. Winner of the United Nations Award for Intercultural Innovation. Do you see the power of that? But it's just a beginning. In fact, it might not even be the right headline. You might want to double down on the core appeal of the offer. If that's the case, you're going to focus on elements of value. And so we go back to the text bank. We look for ways to demonstrate quality and impact. You can see a whole list of these here. We'll draw down on one of the key points. And here we are. Over 8,000 artisans have been lifted out of poverty by people like you. It's pretty strong. I'm sure you could make it better. Let's go to the final choice, the final option. What if we want to emphasize the exclusivity? Now we're going to use distinctive signal terms. So we go back to our text bank. We look at these points. We consider them. We draw out of them one and we craft it. Here might be a model or one way to do that. Your purchase helps our artisans earn at least 250% more than the market wage. Now, we have four subheadlines. You can see them here. Your job is to vote for the one that you think will work best and put your thoughts in the YouTube comments. I'd like you to vote for A, B, C, or D, and you might even think there's a better way. I welcome you to improve any one of these. I'm going to include my text bank, or at least strong excerpts from it, in the YouTube comments or the YouTube description, and that way you can look at these as you think about the best way to craft this headline. You should also visit our website. So, marketer, for every yes, the prospect is asked to grant, regardless of how minor, there is a psychological calculus. And this is true even if the ask is to move from the headline to the opening paragraph. We have to get that psychological calculus right. And that's what today's about. So if this has helped you, go back, put it in your journal, think about how to implement it on your website, and think about buying a basket from Teresa's store or buying a gift. Help rescue a family yourself. As a community, we need to pull together, use our skills to achieve something meaningful. I'm grateful. I'm grateful for all of you who are taking the time and energy to to invest in this training and really to, to put up with me as I try to learn and try to help. Let's make a difference together. <laughs>